Right, so um, I'll do the ice car back and then we can pick up the sat nav from that point there. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. If you can't hear me, just ask me to speak up. Okay. So we're just going to go left out of here, okay? <coughs> and just follow it down there. And you'll see the um, one-way signs. You see them? Mm -hmm. And just follow it in to get out of the car park. So just follow it to the right here, please. Sunny evening. That's right. So it bends to the left, Sarah, and then um, follow it from that point onwards. Okay. Turn left onto Brickhill Street, then enter the roundabout. Okay. Well. Slowing down, then, by the way. Okay. You know, I can really get out of the way. So. Yeah. I mean, all the 
Dark Alley. I wonder if they're doing the same thing here. about take the first exit to Broadway. Onto Wexted Avenue. Just bends round to the right. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Looking for a turn here. Just fuck that bit off here. Okay, so that's in the independent driving. Mm -hmm. If you continue to drive normally, as you would normally do. 
arriving at Winston there. Avenue on the left. For you because you haven't got a clue whereabouts we are in Milton Keith at the moment. Not a clue. You've not been through it before, <laughs> so it's hard for you. Just drive like you normally would do. on the first roundabout which four eggs on there it's the right turn. Okay. So it's a right on the roundabout. They've just, just not updated the sign. Follow the road round to the right, please. Drive off when you're ready. At the end of the road, left turn, please. Road. Need a bit more space there. 
Let's have a faster break now. Okay. Anna 
Is it plaque on the right hand on the side where it's safe? Please. Mm -hmm. The right hand side. reverse back two calendars please. Fine there, thank you. And then rejoin the traffic on the left when it's safe to do so. Turn in, please. And then over on the left, just uh, by this lamppost. Right, so you can, you can turn that signal off. Done. <laughs> okay then, so, um, what should you fail for then? Well, curbing at first and then going when there wasn't a gap. Yes and no. You didn't fail for, for sc scuffing the curb. Oh, I thought you drove fault. No, you got a drive fault. Oh, okay. Um, let me run through what they are anyway. You yeah. got um, one, two, three, four, five, six faults. Oh dear. <laughs> but you got a serious when I put the foot on the brake. All right, let me run through the first one, observations. And it was uh, pulling out on a car on a roundabout. And okay. I wouldn't have gone. It already started to enter on it. I okay. mean, you, you, you put your foot down and got out of his way pretty quickly. So it didn't warrant a serious, it was just a driver fault for observations. Okay. But, but that sort of thing cropped up later on again, and that's what you get a serious for. And that was at the junction, emerging left. How fast was the road going on to? 60. How far, how far away was it, Care? I don't know how far exactly. Yeah, well, you didn't give yourself a chance to have a good look at it. So, what you got to say is you're emerging right onto a left onto a, mm -hmm. on a dual, on a, onto a national speed limit road in rush hour. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be a little bit more careful. And it's like you had a quick look and then went for it and had a look. And I thought you're not going to make that. Okay. You might get out, but it'd be right behind you. Okay. Bibbing his arm at you, flashing his light. So, I'll put the foot on the brake. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Unfortunate because the rest of the drive was, wasn't too bad. Number yeah. number two is uh, control, just a stall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kicked us up on that. It um, was so annoying. <laughs> number three, putting the foot brake down hard at one point. Yeah, Quite hard in the car, jerking out. Number four, um, lane discipline. And it was, um, what was I doing it for now? 
It was to do with, oh, it's gone out of my head now. I was, I was about to write it down and I moved on. It was a bit of a drift going on. Okay. On yeah. one of the roundabouts. Far enough, yeah. Not far across, but you, you, you're sneaking across that okay. there. Um, but there's nothing there to affect them, so it didn't warrant a series, it was mm -hmm. just a drive fault. Uh, number five was necessary signals coming off a roundabout. You check your mirrors, no signal, but you should have been a signal going on there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And number six, positioning, stopping, and that was where you scuffed the kerb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I've um, not done that before. That's really annoying. <laughs> well, I had a girl who took a test about a month ago and she clipped the kerb. Never done it at all. No, I took it off. She so retook a test and passed, but it was just the um, occasion gets you sometimes. The rest of the driving was pretty good. It was. It was rush hour. You went straight across Milton Keynes following the Santa. That was pretty good going, de dealing with traffic. And then we were going inner states. I mean, at one point I said, uh, left at the end of the road. And I got a little bit, why well, is the end of the road? It's gone. <laughs> they changed it slightly because it's been a while since I've been at that state. <laughs> we, we eventually got to the end of the road, went left. But that was the one where you kind of. Yeah. Um, you rushed I thought out. that was a gap and there wasn't, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you've got to say you can't properly see and, it's, yeah. and take into account the time of the day and the speed of the road and just say slow yeah, down, I, first I just, gear and have a good I didn't quite judge look. how fast he was going. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you will next time. You'll yeah. get better at it. But overall, not bad. It's like that, yeah. <laughs> well, next time you do it, you're going to learn and you're going to be mm -hmm. a bit more careful when you're emerging. Yeah. All right. It's Otherwise, it would have been a different story, wouldn't it? All right, and yeah. give yourself a little pat on the back because you have been driving around in rush hour in an area that you're not familiar with. Yeah, you could, oh, you could have taken me out of Milton Keynes, I wouldn't know. Okay, yeah. should we move on? On the park on the right, Yeah. I was confusing myself. Mm -hmm. Can I reverse back when there are cars coming that way? Because I wasn't, but I felt like I probably could have. I know when cars are coming towards me not to, but when they were coming on my left. Yeah, I personally would have done exactly what you did. Sat there for ages. It, well, it, they were all coming out of work, see? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I just wasn't right. sure if I was sitting there. Now, I had a girl take a test today and got, got the same manoeuvre, and I was sat in the back of the car, and she's reversing back slowly while her car's going round me. She picked up a driver fault for observations. You don't fail for that, though? Um, if she affects the car, she's going to fail. Okay. So it's best to slow down and stop. Right. So I wasn't sure if I was sat there waiting for nothing or not. Well, when you review it, I bet it's about a minute. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll turn that off. <laughs>